I know, I know, I know you are going to dislike this video and I'm going to get a lot of dislikes for this video because I'm going to tell you why you should not buy OnePlus 5. I'm following top sites and influencers that means the top dog YouTubers for OnePlus 5 rumors and they are, are posting some small images and uh, teasing with uh, hype okay OnePlus 5 hype and all of a sudden just after released OnePlus 5 officially within two minutes uh, YouTube is flooded with OnePlus 5 reviews and okay that's no problem because uh, I'm, I'm a hater I, I'm using OnePlus 1 yes it is my daily driver and I brought OnePlus 3 for my friend um my fr uh, another another one of my friend is brought oneplus 3t they are using it and i also used it i know oneplus is a good company and their handset is not shitty they works very well so uh, still uh, my oneplus one is working fine now i've got any problems with my oneplus one so i know basically it's not a bad phone but the problem is uh, now it is one plus five okay this is one plus five and they got um, that shitty dual camera I, I, that means the design is exactly look like an iphone w what is the problem with that because when we uh, use this handset in front of uh, normal people they will ask oh hey that's an iphone um, then i should say no it's not an iphone then they will ask which is that phone I, I should say OnePlus. They ask, who, who is OnePlus? <laughs> I, I had that kind of issue with when I, when my friend purchased OnePlus 3. Uh, I got that phone and go to a place where more, many non-tech people are there. Uh, that, that, was, that was the gold version. And most of the people misunderstood that it that was an iphone and uh, some people can, uh, man can congratulate me oh, oh, oh god you got an iphone that is nice like that but uh, yeah the brand uh, is still it's a china phone okay <laughs> there is no that brand value or resale value uh, holds like iphone or samsung phone okay so uh, still the experience is good the hardware is good uh, but the price is now 530 or something um, I don't know exactly uh, for 8 GB version and uh, 470 or something for 6 GB version so you are spending almost 75% uh, of uh, the money uh, you are going to get an actual flagship like uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 or iPhone uh, 7 I, I will not recommend to purchase iPhone 7 because iPhone 8 is on the way so uh, if iPhone 8, 8 edition is available get that one uh, if your Android user get uh, a Samsung Galaxy S8 or uh, S7 uh, because I am not saying that uh, S8 is better than 3T or 5 uh, but uh, see man it is 2K display and it is uh, virtual reality we are ready and iris scanner brand value and uh, service uh, you you will get a samsung service center within 10 kilometers i'm sure about that uh, you will not find a oneplus service center within 10 kilometers so uh, when you got a problem you cannot uh, get it uh, serviced as fast as samsung or apple and the price uh, for the price uh, you get a 2k display 2k amoled screen water resistant wireless charging and uh, overall a good package with s8 or s7 or even iphone 7 but what you get in oneplus 5 or oneplus 3t yes you get a decent performing handset but no water resistant no uh, fast yes there is fast charging sorry no, no water resistant no wireless charging and uh, the company that is not uh, uh, good for uh, non techy people that means they will not understand what is oneplus and what is oneplus 5 uh, they, they will not understand it and there is no resale value for this device so if you are um, going so who is the target customer for oneplus 5 
i think uh, uh, if you are a target customer you should satisfy the following things that means you cannot afford galaxy s8 you cannot afford iphone or you cannot afford lg g6 or any of the android top flagships but yes they have bloatwares and you can if you know how to root or if you know how to manage that that's not a problem uh, you can uh, speed up a <laughs> site or you can install custom roms and uh, use like an uh, like one plus five so uh, that's not a problem so uh, if you need a 1080p display and a snapdragon soc and a dual camera uh, and the top of the line specs at uh, 575 dollar in sorry 530 dollar in 2017 yes you should consider one plus five uh for i i i think this one my one plus one is still performing well that is snapdragon 801 yes yeah that's an 801 device and the one plus 3t and 3 are, are faster around 2x faster than my one plus one but um, that is not a big deal for android because the uh, games run on my one plus one uh, almost exactly same as <laughs> same uh, experience when I using 3T. Uh, yes, it is more saturated AMOLED display and OnePlus has uh, IPS display, but uh, it's not a big difference. A 2014 Android flagship and a 2017 Android flagship will almost run. Uh, almost the experience is uh, same. Yes, it's a little bit faster, a little bit more responsive. That that is not ground breaking or something. So uh, I don't think uh, someone will purchase uh, OnePlus 5 just because they can use uh, an application 10 microseconds faster or or uh, an app will open uh, one second faster so that is not uh, if you if you have a 3t or s7 or any any flagships i think even a one plus one user do not consider one plus five uh, i'm waiting for not not a eight or iphone eight or something like that i i, I am totally bored with 1080p display and no water resistance and no fast charging nothing new why should i buy one plus five so these are the few thoughts i think that one plus five is not worth your 530 dollar yes that is start from 479 us dollar that is 499 euro and what is the price of 8 gb variant i can see that yeah that's around 535 i think anyway that's it now for now click dislike button i uh, i just uh, share my opinion you can do like or dislike no problem <laughs> anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu bye